Psalm 52 paints a picture of the potential falseness and hurtfulness of the human tongue, which can boast, can make mischief, and can tell self-serving lies. A connection is made between such behaviour and the reliance on worldly riches in a manner that also comes through strongly in the letter of James in the New Testament. The other image in this psalm is that of the person who trusts in God and give thanks to him, who is described as being like a green olive tree in the house of God. These roots are life-giving and secure, and this metaphor is also seen in the treatment that will be given to the unrighteous, of whom it is proclaimed that God will take thee and pluck thee out of thy dwelling, and root thee out of the land of the living. So this psalm is a parable of two kinds of rootedness. Why boastest thou thyself, thou tyrant, that thou canst do mischief? Whereas the goodness of God endureth yet daily, thy tongue imagineth wickedness, and with lies thou cuttest like a sharp razor. Thou hast loved unrighteousness more than goodness, and to talk of lies more than righteousness. Thou hast loved to speak all words that may do hurt, O thou false tongue. Therefore shall God destroy thee for ever. He shall take thee and pluck thee out of thy dwelling and root thee out of the land of the living. The righteous also shall see this and fear and shall laugh him to scorn. Lo, this is the man that took not God for his strength, but trusted unto the multitude of his riches, and strengthened himself in his wickedness. As for me, I am like a green olive tree in the house of God. My trust is in the tender mercy of God for ever and ever. I will always give thanks unto thee for that thou hast done, and I will hope in thy name for thy saints like it well.